Hello friends, uh, this is the project that I have made for my final year computer science and engineering named Docify. It's a digital document verification using blockchain and IPFS. It is a decentralized storage blockchain and IPFS for storing the files. Actually, the project uh, aim and what the project doing is doing like the students have been graduating each year from the different universities and colleges and they have been going for the higher studies and also they are being applying for the jobs. At each step, they have to be verify their document from the colleges or the respective universities. Cities. They have to take the seal and signature from their respective colleges and universities. So for that, and also there are some students are being playing the uh, forgery of their documents. There are being many institutes that provide this do fake documents and that are being cumbersome and being problematic for the companies to verify and check the authenticity of each document. So to cater all these problems, uh, we have made a proposed system that's a document verification system using blockchain, IPFS and a QR code for uh, checking the document. Excellent. So there are being the four components that is student who upload the document and request verification from the university, university who verifies the requested document and the company who check uh, the verification status and authenticity of document and a owner that's the we have created owner uh, means like who has created this site that's the register who can register the universities and company and verify them and otherwise uh, many number of people are being saying that they are the authority of university and company and fake uh, to cater all this we have uh, created a system that check this if they are being the valid university or company or not and here uh, we have the functions of each and we will see the function live here and this is the home page of our uh, website these are the functions written here and this is the working flowchart we can see here is a main docu file on our site that is intermediary processor a student who can upload the file and university company IPFS storage and blockchain blockchain has stored all the document uh, hash and their data and IPFS has stored that uh, files in a decentralized way. So, so we are being seeing the functions of the website and here is a quick workflow. It's not a real implementation, but the upper scene how the things actually work. So first we will choose the file uh, being like then the upload uh, student will upload the document file uploaded to IPFS and blockchain. In the blockchain, there is a document ID, that's the name. Uh, actually, it's not, but uh, here we are seeing the demo. And the hash, that's a 256-bit hash of that document. And it is showing currently data verified false. And IPFS also has stored the document. And after that, the university will click on the select the document, choose the original file that they possess. Each university has the original copy of the document that they will be giving to the student. Uh, after that they will click on the verify and then here we see the verified status is true and uh, company can check the document by clicking on that and document is verified and this is the overview now here we have the registered university list this is the college name and their address and this is the company who has registered and their address now we will head towards the main working of that site that is a student page after clicking on the student page, uh, I have actually authenticated and already registered. There are three types of roles, student, university and company. After filling email, password and getting a OTP on the mail, as you have seen this, uh, we are being uh, logged in. Here I am logging for the like company. Uh, send OTP. OTP has been sent to the mail, and then here I am getting an email with two nine zero four, and then login. 
and it shows login success message and we are being logging to the company page the central logic and this and here we are in the student page as we see for so student gaon has total two document uploaded as we see here one is verified and another one is not first select the university address to we document is being referred and then select the document like i have document declaration template and then upload after uploading it uh, i have to be verified from my metamask wallet it will do a transaction it's on the chain eth chain after confirming the transaction it will show document uploaded successfully and email is also sent to the student as we are saying this email and the document id the transaction number from my account to the contract and that uh, ipfs cid it is a hash of the document and i am getting a link of my document that is uploaded to ipfs when i click on that link i can see the document uploaded this is the document that i have uploaded after an email also shows all this document id name university type and all this after that i can see here one document is being added with this id that's 2486 this and the university address and this id and it is showing currently not verified now as we have been seeing here there is an option for the university to be verified after registering in the account as a university they have to be verified from the owner so currently it is showing university not verified and there is option for register and after registration there is a request in the metamask wallet and confirm and it is registered but it is not only registered but not verified they have to be now verified from the owner owner account is different you will change the account from metamask wallet and after switching the account and here we will see that university verified false and we will select the university and verify and after confirming this transaction you see university verified successfully okay and in the same way for the company also and that's it after that when the university will select the document that is 24a6 request has already been come on their page and they will upload the original document that is declaration we are being thinking that they already have the original process document and i have not change anything if i have change anything i can do also that first we will see if i will upload a fake document this is the fake document as you will see and this document has t missing here applicant and the original document has t here i have only change one letter and after uploading that uh, fake document if i will click the verify it is showing that it is a invalid document and after clicking on it and selecting the original document and then verify it will showing a transaction means the document is verified its hash is being matching with the original document that the student uploaded that's a confirmation after confirmation it will show the detail of all this things and email is being also sent as you will see there is an email uh this dear yash sugandhi that's the student i trust this email find you well on behalf of the college has approve your request for document verification and when the student send this email is being going to the college verification team that the student on behalf of yash sugandhi that okay and then we will see the university has uh, 
and then the company can check the authenticity of these documents by selecting the document number the document id that we see here or by uh, scanning the qr code uh, I mean, this document uh, now has a QR code. Before document don't have this QR code. After that, after scanning, or I will copy this and then company and then paste it. And uh, I can upload the document that the student submit to me to the company, or can directly check it from the ID. So I will upload the document. I mean, the student has uploaded me the wrong document. Suppose, then fake document. Then what will happen? Check and verify. Document is invalid or fake. So as we have seen after uploading the fake document and check its authenticity, we have seen that it gives a fake document. And to check its authenticity and for that reason, we have in the student page we have to give permission to the company to check its authenticity and validity and check its status. For that, we have to go on a student page, select the document, select the company, and include the company. After confirming the transaction. We are in confirming, and after confirming the transaction, as we are seeing, company included successfully. And now the company can check its uh, status. For that, uh, we need the document, and this is the document. First, I have downloaded the document, and then save. Okay, and then. I will give its document ID. This this ID. We can alternatively scan the QR code also and upload the document. And after uploading this document, we can check its authenticity. And now it's showing document is valid and verified because we uploaded a correct document. Document is valid and verified. And we can see the student uh, university document. It says. And there is also link to view that document. Okay, and in the university page, we have one more option that is multiple document upload and verify. Uh, suppose now the university directly want to give the verified document to the student with a QR code embedded on it. They don't want the double process of giving and after verifying it directly. So they have option for multiple document uploads. For that, they have to upload Excel file which contain two fields. The first is the student address. Uh, that is the wallet address and second is the uh, their file name and as we are seeing and up, after clicking on it we will select this file uploading it and selecting the document that we are being specified there these two documents are being specified there and we will click on upload and verify and here we are seeing a transaction. We have to only sign up one transaction and all these documents are being verified. And as we are saying, document verified successfully. And one document is being with the same university address. So we have been seeing a document, this with the same document address. And this is the document I again uploaded that this. And another one is being for the another address, and they also get being notified by that address. And after all this process, there is also one feature that is a certificate generator. Uh, suppose the university want to be generate the certificate that for the event that we are being going in their college or the university, they can directly generate the certificate here. They only have to be change the name. And then that's it in this way for the other fields also and download certificate and they get download certificate directly. And as we have been seeing the certificate and there is also one feature video KYC. So as we have been seeing the another feature that is a video KYC. Uh, some sites are being providing the same service but there is a lack of this video KYC feature. No college or university can use this. 
to verify their student also to check their authenticity online so for that they have to be give uh, i'm suppose i am a student with the name yash and this is my wallet address and it is already automatically taken and uh, i have opened another tab and this is the account of ssgms that is the college with this address and if the college wants to be call the student then they have to given the id or a wallet address of the student that they have and after that they will click on the call and as we have been seeing here ssgms is calling so after answering this so as we have been seeing the video actually i have closed the button um turn off the mic and here we are seeing the video now i will leave the call and that's call ended